Hello my viewer and welcome back to my channel. With everything that has been going on with the pandemic and all those stuff, online dating has been used for most of the people or most of the people find it so convenient. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you some of the best five best dating sites that you could try in 2021, 2022. found a picture we took many years ago i'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of some of the dating sites that i have personally used and they are so amazing and i want you to listen to them so the first one being not in any order the first one is okcupid and this okcupid it is a site that is available both in uh, actually in mobile and also websites and it is ha it has a free version and the premium version is around 9.95 per month dollars and uh, it is meant for hookups flinch and casual dating and also it has if you are lucky you can get a serious dating or serious dating so what or uh, how does it work the way it works users answer as many as many questions as possible or as they wish and identical answers that means that you are compatible and uh, if you differ in answers or if you give different answers then it will be a problem for you to get or to be compatible with the person that you are interested in you will get to know the person very well even before the date and that is the best thing or the pro about uh okay cupid and variety of question it has a very different or the variety of question gives you the chance to know a person and actually before you decide or before you go to a date you'll understand that person personality so i love okay cupid because it gives you in depth of a person it gives you the chance to know a person by answering the questions or by just actually going in depth of a person's personality the cons about okay cupid it is that to get something decent you have to invest in time and effort even though it is possible to get or to get more people who are serious but you have to invest in more of your time so it is something that most people actually see that it is time consuming but in general i have to say okay cupid it is fine people have come out with successful stories using okay cupid and uh, i have to say also it is mostly whites and asians i have not seen a lot of black people there but it is okay if you are a person that you are into such call or people you can do it and you can try it okay the second app that you should try in 2021 2022 it is bumble bumble has a mobile uh it is only mobile app only it doesn't have uh, websites and it is free and very similar to tinder with a twist and uh, the twist is that when a match appears a woman has to actually send a message to the guy within 24 hours so if you don't send a message or if you don't send anything within 24 hours the chat or the conversation will disappear and you won't get or you won't find anything it is meant for hookups uh, flinch and casual dating and some like it is same like tinder as i said and uh the best thing about this it is that it is easy to use and also it shows when a woman is interested or when a person a lady is interested in a person then it means that you will only get the people that are interested to follow you or the people that are interested to have a date with you so i find it very nice even though it has its own con the con being that it requires users to identify whether they are male or female and it leaves out the option for the other people or for other genders. The third but not least and the 
one that many people actually have known it for a long time it is tinder and it is one of my favorite that i have used and uh, it is mobile uh it it actually offers the mobile app only and the premium it has a premium uh, membership which is which is 9.99 per month dollars and also it has other parts so tinder uh what you do that users create detailed profile with photos and when you swipe right on it means that you like that person and when you swipe left it all it means that you don't like that person and if the two swipe right if you two like the boy and the girl swipes right on each other that means it is a match and instant messaging happens and it is meant just for hookups and flinge and uh, casual dating it is extremely convenient and fun and it is also a good way of passing time so i find tinder mostly just for passing time maybe and uh, something that i have to add that the cons about tinder that i did not like it is difficult to get something serious there like it is difficult to get someone serious there even though it happens and also it is geared uh towards physical appearance and not actually the personality of a person or the description of a person so for me tinder could be actually fun and also it gives you convenient time to to see many people but it doesn't give you the in-depth of a person's personality coming at number four it is my favorite also it is eHarmony one of the most successful online dating site with a long time relationship or true love story that i have ever had in history and uh, something about something good about eHarmony it is that it has in depth questions for the people that are interested in dating using the dating site it has a large number of serious dates and advanced algorithm and compatibility system several successful stories have emerged just using eHarmony i like for a instead i have a friend to um, most of the most of my friends have successful stories from just dating the dating side and uh, also detailed number of profiles and it is something that it gives you uh, the pleasure to know that you are you are going to meet actually you are going to have a few fake scammers on eHarmony because uh, they do a lot of uh, scanning or maybe not even scanning it has that the algorithm actually makes it easier for you to see the person's personality now the only cons that i don't like about eHarmony it is that people will always lie even on their profile so you'll find that someone would write a good description but when it comes to reality that it doesn't give that person's personality and also the premium membership it is very extreme or extremely expensive to most of us or most of the people so that one is a con and the long sign up process uh over 70 questions asking you what you have to do like all details that is a long process of signing up and most of people who want to have a quick chat with someone will find it very difficult so the free membership is also limited that is a con and uh, i don't like that and lack of uh, various communication method it gives it uh, actually uh, something we call that it is limited in terms of communication in terms of language otherwise i have to say that this is one of my best and if i have to read out of the the, the ones that i've told you i'll give it number two or number one actually because it is more much better so last but not least it is elite elite singles the pros of about elite singles it is that hundreds of thousands of new single are joining every month and elite is meant for singles who are actually into career and who have a higher education so qualities so if you are a person who, are, who is into career and you want to find smart people bright people elite is the elite single is the app for you and it is based on careers education and uh, actually the premium membership it is 44.95 
per month dollars. So the cons about this airline, it is that it limits everybody like you cannot just go there if you don't have a good background in education and also in career wise and something also it is limited to free trial and uh, the free trial is limited actually so that is the conda i have seen with elite singles otherwise i have to say it is among the top that i could recommend so i think i have shared with you some of the best dating sites some of the best of five dating sites that you could try in 2021, 2022. Otherwise, for now, we will be going in depth in next videos. And I want to just say thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye. I found a picture we took many years ago. When I said to you, we would never grow. I used to